All right, everybody, we are back, and he has worked on country music elite, enhancing their already natural, beautiful faces with his incredible makeup and air techniques. That is right. You've definitely seen Chris Bear's look on the red carpet, and today he's giving us some glam tips and tricks ahead of the holidays with the beautiful model Harper. Absolutely. I love that you say, though, that makeup, first of all, welcome. You, you say that it's healing. It's very healing. 100%. Tell me why. Well, I think it's a very intimate setting mm -hmm. with people. Yeah, one And I think one of the most important things for people is to be seen and heard. Mm. And so when you're in the chair with these beautiful people, you get to see not only the beauty inside, but also make it part of the outside. Mm. And so it's a very reciprocal moment exchange of energy. Aww. Yeah. I like that. You <laughs> can do my makeup anytime. Well, it's true. Let's I mean, go. it's like with hair and makeup, you know, professionals, you end up spilling your guts to them because yeah. you're sitting, you're talking, and, and it can be very therapeutic. Yes. So and especially I, with what I do, I mean, I see a lot of the same people mostly yeah. more than their own, you know, family. So it's, yeah. it's a very intimate, you know, experience. And mm -hmm. before they go on to do kind of yes. nerve-wracking things, yes. the red carpets or, you know, True. singing on stage. Yes. Um, okay, so Harper, beautiful Harper over here. Yes. You have put some makeup on her. You're going to kind of talk to us yes. about tips and tricks. 100%. And what you're going to do kind of moving yeah. into a nighttime look. So Harper here obviously loves a very natural look and I think that when we think of the terms glam and makeup we always think of what does it have to be it's not perfect makeup fits pretty much anything for everybody mm -hmm. so using certain things especially to enhance her you know her natural look here if you look at Harper she has a little bit of uh, BB cream on a little bronzer a little Beautiful. mascara, a soft little lip. Mm -hmm. And I want to show people that it doesn't, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Mm -hmm. You don't need to do 50,000 steps to create a nice look. You can take something as easy as a little bit of cream bronzer. Cream bronzer. On a tapered blending brush. Having her keeping her eyes open, you can literally come here with directional blending and just very lightly and go from a day to a night just by adding a little bit of structure in her eye. Bronzer on her lid? Bronzer in I her crease. And you're almost above the crease. the crease, you're above It's right it. above it in the, okay. in, the, in the socket here, yeah. And then very lightly just kind of going again in circular motions, letting that kind of blend out. Taking a little bit on the bottom here because what goes on top always needs to go on the bottom. Oh, mm, Taking wow. that same product because it's, again, it's a cream bronzer. I'm using the Anastasia cream bronzer here. Just to lightly, again, nighttime is a little bit more of a higher contrast. Mm -hmm. So popping in a little bit more color here will instantly elevate her look to going from day to night just oh, with one wow. product. Yeah. I've never used a cream bronzer. Maybe. I've always oh, yeah. used like a powder. Cream is so beautiful. Oh, wow. Especially living in, you know, in Nashville, it gets a little bit more cold. Yeah. You want to use a little bit more of emollient based products. Taking the same thing, again, if you're in a pinch and you don't have time to go get your blush, use your lipstick. <gasps> use your lipstick as a blush. Take a little bit of lipstick on the back of your hand, same brush, again, not over, not reinventing the wheel, and just adding a little bit of color to flush through will give her more of an elevated look. Oh my. That's amazing. And that's the same lip that we have on her that she's wearing right it's now. It's a beautiful color. It's called, uh, what is it called? Hush Pink by Anastasia. It's beautiful. Okay. So you like some of the Anastasia I stuff? I love Okay, Anastasia. that's yep. good to yep. know. Who, so who? Again, go, go ahead. ahead, no, go ahead. Just, again, being very intentional, circular motions, rubbing back and forth. Blending through, I always say a little bit over the nose because it always, you know, a little bit of colors around the entire face, not just on the, not, not just on the cheeks. What about highlighter? Girl, I'm getting there. <laughs> Here we go. If you guys have not seen this this product, you need to see this product. Okay. Ooh. It's the makeup by Mario oh, with the real palette. Yes, this is beautiful. And guys, I am not sponsored. I am just. <laughs> I love these products. Like? That's what I use yeah, everybody. No, it's great it's to very hear. universal. Take your finger or a little small brush here for this purpose. We're gonna use a small brush. Take a cream based foundation, mm -hmm. very lightly, just to elevate her, her eye look from day to night. We're gonna pop a little bit of this right in the center here. It's gonna add a little bit of like a cream base, which is gonna pick up all the product that we use. Oh, that's beautiful. And again, very lightly, we've already built in that, that uh, crease color with the bronzer. Yeah. I'm gonna add a little shimmer here, very lightly, just dab it right in the center and let that kind of open up the eye. <gasps> when it comes to shadow, oh. what we wanna focus on is accentuating high, uh, high and low colors. So your low colors are gonna be your highlights and your high colors are gonna be your, your contour colors, like your bronzers and your crease colors. So adding a little bit of that is gonna instantly elevate her eye. And again, you can't go wrong without mascara. Oh, 
Ooh. What mascara Which do you Which gal recommend? doesn't like mascara? Love Every it. gal needs mascara right? and maybe some lipstick. I mean, hey, even some guys need some mascara. Out there, so the right? cream color base, that does that help it stick and as it, well? Yes, like the, it's more of like eyeshadow? an emollient base and it's gonna help the love shadow this. stick. Okay. So I'm using, again, Anastasia. I love yeah. Anastasia products. I'm gonna tilt her head just that way a little bit. So you can see auto automatically that shimmer's pulling up the green in her eyes, yes. but it's also helping the structure of that crease color pop more. So using, I'm gonna have her look down and I'm gonna have her close. I'm just gonna add one coat of mascara on top of what she's already had all day. Again, ladies, do not have to reinvent the wheel here. You don't have to go home and take all your makeup off. You can literally just add to it. Mm. And just by adding a little bit back and forth, it's okay if you make a little mistake here, you can just have her dab it off just like this. Very good. And Again, if you make a mistake, because it does happen this way, using something like a little liner mm -hmm. will kind of play up there with her. So I'm gonna take a little bit of liner here, very lightly, and just dab towards the corner of the eye. <laughs> this is what and a true go. artist does. I love that. That's a yeah. absolutely gorgeous. Just the corner. Mm. And again, we all have freak out moments when you make a little mistake there, but you don't have to, just play up with it. And just add a little bit of that uh, brown liner towards the, towards the lash line. Blend it out and over, and then Harper looks uh, straight ahead. You are amazing. This looks so good. Thank Incredible. you both. You guys have to come back Dating and nice. do Dating many nice. more of these. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> Gorgeous. Yes, fantastic. Yeah. All right, get inspired. Follow Chris on his Instagram page. You can find him at Chris Bear Makeup. Thank Love you so much. that. Yes.